Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumbar Taco and Tell. Um, <clears throat> so I was trying to come up with like an idea of what to do, and I really do want to do the um, the Cone Corporation um, building, the the warehouse that um, takes all the cones and puts them through the the green stuff, and like makes them turn turns them into traffic cones, right? But I'm not quite sure how to do it. Um, I think this would be a great idea for um, the the little um, inoculation chamber would be to use one of these, right? And then uh, I could actually set up the factory back here in the back. So, hmm, actually, let's go ahead and let's get started on doing something like that because that sounds amazing. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work. Lots and lots of work. Is this 20? 20? Here, come on. Let's be... get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, oh, there we go. I am going to need to um, move around a few things, clear out some area space, and then we're going to be moving a lot of stuff around. Actually, here. Let's go ahead and just destroy that. I uh, don't need these anymore. I could probably use them for something, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, I promise it's okay. Um, we need to do a little bit of cleanup back here and get like an area made. Okay, that's actually that's wood. Yay! I've got wood. Wood, wood. <laughs> so, just a nice, relaxing playtime tonight instead of uh, trying to come up with something crazy. Which I mean, it's still a pretty crazy idea uh, to create this so um, oh gosh oh gosh these are all in the way Hold on, can I get this over come here there we go that's good move here and I'm probably just gonna get distracted anyway come up with something else or start doing something else who knows right now I'm gonna move this over and then that way I can have room here. Oh, is that silver axe? Yeah, yeah. Take the silver axes over and get some Twitter axes. Uh, I am gonna need logic. Like, lots and lots of logic, so. Who knows? Who knows what I'm doing tonight? Turn. Only Defaultio. I'm just kidding. Defaultio didn't even know. <laughs> it's like, what's Code doing? I have no clue. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. There's that one. That one. Are those those aren't even attached. Silly code. Come on. Oof. One one step closer. There we go. Is that on the ground? Yeah. Move this one a little bit closer. Basically, uh, I'm just setting up the little walnut um, thing here because I realized that that is not walnut on the pixel art and. I wanted to come in and play and just, I just wanted to hang out tonight, you know? Um, I'm kind of excited about the whole Subnautica series coming to an end. Um, I will be getting more time to, uh, oh gosh, to um, play, because that's an hour series. But at the same time, it's like, I kind of want to procrastinate it so it doesn't end, but I don't want a series going forever. Plus, I've got other ideas. <clears throat> So, it's not the end of Subnautica, it's just the end of the Let's Play part of Subnautica, you know? Um, I was in a voice chat earlier on my drive drive home, um, and turn and rotate. <clears throat> there was somebody that said that they were switching um, high schools, and because their old high school, they would get in, uh, they were getting bullied at. And a lot of suggestions started coming out from the other kids in the the um, the Discord, and a lot of them were like, "If somebody that keeps bugging you and bothering you, just punch him in the face." Um, I don't like the advice that you guys were giving because that's that's not that's not how to properly handle it. I'll.
Was it just me or was there a tweet tweet right there? Did you guys hear that? Hold on. Let's go uh, let's go try something. Where's Can you guys, can you guys hear that? And, and is it just me? Hold on. Ooh. Hold on. There is a tweet on a perfect swing. So, like... There's, there's this... I swear, that's not me. I'm not making that sound. Well, I was that time, but the... Didn't do it that time. I made a mess though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. There it was. There. That's crazy. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, the advice thing. Um, I I don't agree with your tactic of hitting someone back. Um, Any time somebody makes fun of you or... And this goes for teachers yelling at you as well. Um, anytime somebody is screaming and saying that you're doing something wrong it's nothing that you've done something is wrong with that person something is wrong with the way that they think because it's never okay to make fun of someone it's never okay to hurt someone and I understand a lot of media and a lot of powers I want to call them powers, but they're not. Um, people who think they're authorities. Um, <clears throat> they give this idea, this persona, that revenge and retaliation are the correct actions. And I don't believe that way. I believe in justice, absolutely. And I believe in <clears throat> holding people accountable for their actions. Um, do I believe you should punch somebody? No. Um, have I punched somebody in the past? Absolutely. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to do something when I myself have done that something. And I want you to know that, so. Um... I was in the Marine Corps. I was a correctional officer. Um, I have hit pretty hard. Um, to the point that it's caused damage. So, 
when I tell you just because somebody's being a jerk don't hit them and if they're trying to hit you get away and go go tell someone go say hey this is happening um, if that person is telling you, don't you say a word, blah, 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 don't sit there and go, oh, I'm going to tell somebody. Go tell somebody, but be safe and get somewhere so safe. So, <clears throat> just didn't, it didn't seem like the correct advice was being given out, and I wanted to make sure that I... I did give my point on it. To the person who was inside the chat, you know who you are. And I'm saying to you, if you are getting bullied, it's not because of something that you've done. Um, I grew up in a very different scenario situation than a lot of kids. Because, because of my ADHD and because of my personality and just because of overall me, um, I was weird. I, I was the weird kid, but I fit in somehow because I hung out with the sports jocks. I played football. I was in band. Um, the skater dudes, I mean, we skated together and stuff like that. And the preps, um, sorry, the richer kids we just kind of all hung out and it wasn't it wasn't this big divide in between all of us um, the people that were bullies were usually the sports jocks to me and even then like <clears throat> there was this one kid that was going to fight me and he straight up told all of his buddies I'm gonna fight him and it was because I said something to his little sister his little sister was pretty much being a jerk and I I told her that I not in the kindest of ways not with the kindest of words oh goodness what is this what a time I was in the middle of a story oh. is it reconnecting oh no it's gonna reconnect and I'm not gonna be able to get onto the same server that wasn't my private server why am I here no! I was in a private server doing a private thing. Okay, anyhow. <laughs> I've been recognized. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> Alright. Um, anyhow. Back to the story. I was... Who's that? <laughs> uh, one of his buddies came and got me. And I walked down the long hallway, and it was lunchtime, but I followed him all the way over to where this guy was, and he was up in weight training class. Yeah, so. He said, stay right here. I'll go get him. He ran up, up the stairs to go get the guy from weight training class. Came down, and he looked me right in the eye and goes, you the guy that's been saying stuff to my little sister? I looked right back at him and I said, yeah. He's like, why? And I said, because your little sister was being a big jerk on uh, the bus. And when she turned around and said, I'm going to have my big brother beat you up, I said, I'd like to meet him. <laughs> he looks right at me and goes, you're right. She does have a big mouth. I'm sorry she said that to you. He shook my hand and we parted ways. But... It wasn't because I was prepared to fight him. It was because I looked him in the eye and I told him the truth. And I, I don't know what happened to his little sister or whatnot, and I don't even know where those guys are now. So does it matter in the time that it's happening? Yeah, of course it does. I mean, it's a scary situation. You're going to get nervous and things like... <sighs> You're going to have an emotion that is either going to be fight or flight and it's in those moments that you need to stop take a deep breath and assess the situation for what it actually is because in that moment it can determine an outcome to 
pretty much the rest of the, the, the time of wherever you're at. Um, if I had ran from the kid, or if I'd done something like that, um, I'm pretty sure that would have gotten around, because, I mean, it was a small school. So, I could definitely see that becoming an issue. And it didn't. And it didn't because I was able to face the guy. I wasn't going to fight him. I mean, even if he threw the first punch, I wasn't. I wasn't going to like start in on him. It was. It was a really dumb reason why we were even face to face in the first place. But all of his buddies, all their friends, and everybody in the hallway is like, "Oh, no, there's goes Eric's teeth. He's going to go fight such and such. Oh my gosh!" Oh. It's this huge deal, and it's just. It's not. It's not okay to fight. Now, if you are being attacked, it's okay to defend yourself. I'm not saying throw a strike. Okay, to throw a strike would be to become offensive. But if you're blocking and backing up and putting an arm out to keep somebody at arm's distance, that's not that's not an attack. That is definitely the defense. Um, we're not going to go into arm bars and everything else. That's just violence. Ugh. Although 99% of most fights always end up on the ground, so you should probably... Never mind. I'm not going to talk about it, Code. Okay, here we go. Let's load back in our last slot. Hmm. I guess this is just a talk time with Code, then. <laughs> oh, man. Am I going to be stuck on the working screen? Bro, this is, door is taking forever. Yeah, I think we're gonna be stuck. Um, I don't wanna wait. I really don't wanna wait. Can I just go to private server? Here, hold on. Let's go to my private server. Please, please. Shout out to everybody that was back in that server. Because you guys were awesome, and I'm sorry that you have to wait on the on the time. The server. <clears throat> Anyhow, you are going to be going to a new school, new situations, new times, and you're going to be the new kid. So um, make the most of it and meet as many people as you can as quickly as you can. And when they ask you why did you move schools, do not bring up the the mention of bullies. Be like, yeah, my parents got a new job or something like that. Whatever the like. Don't use that as your stepping off point. Um, whatever the actual situation of why you're moving, if it's strictly just because you were getting bullied from the last school, don't use that as your opener. Be like, hi, my name's Heath. I got bullied at my last school. What's your name? Or actually, like, that could be a very good opener, you know, to meeting new friends. Don't know why, but... Also, tell all the new kids to subscribe to Code Primate and stuff. Do that cool stuff for me. And if you happen to have one of my t-shirts, uh, just wear that. You won't get bullied. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm probably one of the only YouTubers like wears his own face. I don't have it on right now, but I mean, I've also gained a little bit of weight, so it, the original shirt doesn't fit quite as well. <laughs> it shrunk in the wash. That's We're just going to go with it shrunk in the wash. Hmm. <sighs> Come on, initialization of servers. Let's go. Hmm. I was thinking of an idea. A very good idea. I could um, take the private link to my server and jump into a server. Go hide, say, five items around the server itself. And then hide myself and tweet out the link location and have people come in and do a scavenger hunt what do you think let me know in the comments down below that's a just an idea just a thought don't know if it would actually go over very well but <clears throat> the main point um because people ask me all the time like how do you plan out your your videos in Lumber? I don't. 
Um, I'm basically doing the same thing that I was doing before I started recording my videos, and that's going into the server and playing. That's what I like to do. I like to come in here and just hang out, and it's actually, it's actually become different just because I don't have to go and collect wood like I used to. I mean, I would have to do the grind for lava wood and for um, oak trees and elms and like all this stuff. I'd have to come in here and I just grind, grind, grind. Um, and now that I'm a famous YouTuber, not really that famous, but nowadays I don't really have to grind so hard. I do have an axe on me, right? I had a Twitter axe, I think. Hey, hey, I have an idea. We don't have any koa wood. Let's go get some koa wood. Koi. Koa. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Hoover. No. Wait, buddy. It, come back. And that's something else I don't understand. Why does Hoover start over here and then take off almost immediately once the server... That's not fair, Hoover. That's okay. You know what we'll do? We'll go hang out somewhere else until he comes back. It's going to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 minutes. Oh, no. In 10 minutes, it'll be 30 minutes an hour. Hmm. It's a 30-minute episode right there. Well, you guys want to just go chop some wood? I mean, that's we do that. Let's see. What am I? What am I low on? Or what do I not have? Um, coal wood is what I don't have. Uh, I could use some gold wood. Make some golden planks. What do you think? We'll have to, uh, I don't have a gold bridge on this one, so we'll have to do it the old school way. I don't want to do that with a pink truck. No, let's do that. Why not? <clears throat> Skills. Skills at parking. Alright. Not really. That was, that was kind of horrible. Anyhow. Alright. Let's go do this. Why not? Oh, excuse me. I haven't done this path in quite some time. I uh, could just get a long plank to go up there. But I still want a truck up there. Oh. And don't laugh at me if I accidentally, like, flip the truck this time, because it's not my intent. But it never is, right? Um, for all you new subscribers that have not seen me inside Lumber Tycoon 2, or you don't know who I am, um, hello, <laughs> my name's Code Primate. Uh, I love Lumber Tycoon 2. I know it says that I play Roblox, but I'm pretty much stuck on this game. Until there's uh, another game where the creator is like... That's really loud. I forgot to change the sound. Ooh, come on. Come on. There we go. Sorry for the headphones. Headphone warning. Come on. Can I do this? Nice. <laughs> you guys heard the oof sound. You're like, no, God, no! Ooh. There we go. That wasn't too bad, right? Uh, oh, by the way, to the person that was talking about building a uh, bridge to lava, right there is where you were talking about. This little flat land portion back here in the back. And that can be built from um, slot two. But should be able to get you up here. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, yay, we made it. We did it, we did it, we did it. Yay, do, 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 sorry. 
pulling off the door dance. Oh, rescue pack. Come and do the rescue. Ar ar rescate. I can't do that rrr sound very well. Rrr ar rescue pack. Come and do the rescue. <laughs> I actually have to stop and think about it. Like, Rescue back. He's got your back. No, great. Now it's going to be stuck in my head like all night long. <clears throat> That's Diego. Dora's prima cousin. Is it prima? Primo. Prima. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And isn't the Brazilian not Spanish? That is definitely a bird. I can hear birds. <laughs> there we go. Uh oh. That's like barely hanging on there. You gotta hold on to the back of the truck. Go climates. Okay, hold on. That's blocking my view, so every time I move, I gotta adjust the camera. Alright. Let's try not to block the view of the camera, okay? Oh, uh, by the way, um, for those of you that still sleep with the light on, that is okay. Um, if you have a slumber party or if you're staying over at somebody's house, it's okay to ask for them to keep the light on. Um, especially if you're in an unfamiliar house and you're worried about like having to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom in a place that you don't know because I mean it can be very traumatizing waking up and being like where's my bed where's my parents um, I remember situations whenever I was little younger where I would ask if I could keep the light on and one of my friends made fun of me um, I won't mention who you know who you are <clears throat> But I didn't make a big deal about it. And I said there's logical reasons of why I want the light on, but he just kept calling me a scaredy cat. Um, needless to say, we weren't friends after that day. There were other things that he pulled that just didn't sit right with me. But I never stayed over at his house again. And you'll, you'll have to determine that for yourself. Your friends, like actual true friends, will not make you feel bad about something as trivial as keeping a light on. Um, and if they truly are your friend, why are they making fun of you? So... Ask yourself those questions. If you know the answers to them, great. If not, I would ask for a second opinion. Or at least tell your parents. And kids can get mean. Of course, it's, it's not just kids. I'm talking to parents too. If you have a coworker and you think that coworker is your friend, but you notice a pattern of them constantly putting you down to get a laugh, you might evaluate that situation. Oh, by the way, that's that's not in context to anything that's happening at work. Okay, so my, no, <laughs> whoa! Guys, if you're watching my video, that's, no, that was just a reference that's not, <laughs> 
all the guys at work, and we're gonna come to me and be like, Dude, did we say something to you? No, no, you're fine. That's not this. <laughs> the, uh, the idea was to give it a relatability to an adult situation as well. Because there's, there's been jobs in the past, and mostly in Marine Corps, but I'm not going to count the Marine Corps, because, um, yeah, it was a job, but it was crazy. <laughs> and pretty much that's the mentality of, like, oorah. I kind of make fun of people all the time in the Marine Corps. And it's not like hardcore being mean, and just, I don't know, different mentality, different, different thing. But at the same time, that is a, that is a brotherhood that I will never find again. And it's still with me to this day. Whenever there is another Marine that I come across and we meet for the first time, it, you shake their hand and... There's just this, there's an understanding. Even people that are down in the comments right now, people that are watching this video right now, if you're in the military, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that camaraderie, that that brother, brotherhood, sisterhood, that family feeling of being in the military together and knowing what that feeling is. Um, kids, that's hard to explain. And I don't, I don't know, you can't teach that. You can't tell that to someone. You can only know that. That's hard for me to admit. Because I like teaching you guys. I like telling you situations and giving you advice and stuff like that. And I can't share that feeling with you. I mean, I guess the closest possible thing would be all of you watching right now, my fan base, knowing that somebody else watched and knows the situation, knows, knows Code Prime, knows you and what kind of person you are, what kind of person I am, and just the but it goes so much deeper than that. All right, we're just we're just gonna get this over here because I'm I'm about tired of trying to get this thing to. There we go. Sorry. <coughs> we're 33 minutes in, by the way. <laughs> A lot longer than I thought I was going to be. All right, let's get this one off. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to pick these out. I got I'm on a time limit. I gotta run. Let's do this. Let's do this and get it done. Code. You've been you've been delaying the inevitable. You've been taking way too much time. Alright. Upsy daisy. Down and drop. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, ooh, ooh. Stop it. I'm gonna go ahead and plank these out while you watch some outros, and this will give us some gold wood. Wasn't really the plan for the night, but you know, I I wasn't really planning on getting kicked from the server either, or having such a laggy server that I jumped into. So that's fine. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, where I got to give you a whole bunch of advice over life and just existing normally hanging out inside lumber tycoon 2 don't forget to like comment subscribe down below do all those cool things i'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos but in the end it's your choice love you guys very much have a great night be nice to one another and outro Thank you.